Um, does Nina have uh, other persons for you to meet? Yeah, she has one more person for me to meet. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about that? <laughs> I feel wonderful. Yeah. I feel great. It's as <laughs> if he's he's waiting for her to say something crazy or, you know, I'm jealous. Mm -hmm. Mark, let's talk about the comment you made about the Hey guys, welcome back to Humano Resource. I'm Uma. And I'm Selma. So if you guys follow us, you know who we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about Mark, our favorite American our from favorite Match American. Me Abroad. Yeah. yeah. So in our previous video, you know we talked about him meeting her family, who this family, and it went swell. Right? Swell? It went swell. <laughs> swell. Okay, it went all right. <laughs> and, you know, even her brothers, you know, said the, the scariest thing. You're yeah. old, you You're know what I mean? You know. For a grown man. And he yeah. was like, which is why I'm going to speed up this process. Because mm -hmm. I heard somehow that he has a seven day itinerary just to get this to complete. Seven days to find a spouse? Y'all correct me in or the comment partner? section, okay? And so he's out here like getting it through. But he basically picks up um, Huda and he says, let's go. She goes, let's take us to a restaurant called Ludo, which I checked for that restaurant. What? Yeah, I checked for that restaurant and I'm just like, <laughs> You have time. Oh. No, I'm joking. I actually didn't. <laughs> and they go to the restaurant and they sit down. They face each other. She's giving the eyes. He's giving the eyes. She's giving the eyes. It's cute. Yeah. And then after, um, he he basically tells a few things that I think was very nice. He said that I, I, I she's checking out my boxes. She's independent. Yeah. She's smart. Um, career oriented. She's pretty. Family. I don't think he dropped that. And she was kind of like, you know, soaking it all in. You know how women do it. And then after he asked her the important question, like, do you see us marrying each other? Like, let's hear what he says. Because I only have so much time. Do you see a real connection here for a potential marriage? Like, could you be my wife someday in your eyes? Um. Or could I be your husband? Hmm. Quite interesting. He is asking her very valid questions. And you can see, I think he dropped the whole amount of time constraint. Yeah, but now, I don't know if he's talking because he's 40 something years old. That's why he's got time constraint or it's because his time in Morocco was short. I think it's his time in Morocco is short. But you say all those things in, <laughs> in a first date? Crazy. Yeah, did you see how she was like, listen, this is just probably the first date mm -hmm. and this takes time. And it was like, yeah, but can you see me? And I think that's a bit of a valid question. Can you see me? Do you, I think he's saying, do you see something in the sparks or in the making? Yeah. And well, in that could, case, she's really giving him nothing. Yeah, and he clearly likes her. And she's just... Look at even the body language. She's more relaxed. She's more leaned back. And he's more forward towards her. Right? I, he is definitely smitten by her. Yeah. Uh, I still she, feel like she's bothered of the first interaction she had with him. She's like, this guy is an old man. He don't dress sports. He's and, wearing a suit. And, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go to this date. I'm taking you to this suit. restaurant. You clearly paying. <laughs> yeah. And he's just like, she's hot. <laughs> she's hot. But um, personally, think both of them make sense in that interaction. She is telling him this takes time to develop. Exactly. I'm just meeting for the first time. It's our first date. And he's saying that, like, but can you see, do you see something? Like, yeah, but you know, the thing is, he didn't ask Sukaina that. He what didn't. Sukaina? What happened to our girl Sukaina? Yeah. Yeah, where are you, girl? And I think he got their ages wrong. She's 25. Sukuyin is 24. Yeah, they're just a year apart. Yeah. But why is she more accepted? Like, you know, he's more approving of yeah. her age compared to Sukuyin. Probably because Sukuyin should dress like a kid, probably. I don't know. She was wearing a helmet at one point. Um, because they came out of like a <laughs> I get it. I remember. Please. But but there was a kiddish thing. They were, he was pushing her on a swing. Yeah. So, so there's just kiddish behavior. <laughs> But and in in okay, in a way, I'm telling you right now, that girl is a boss. Let me tell you why. She was. Quick. I think she's in, she's fun. I think no, not even fun. a fun, but she's like, yo, you know what this is? Can you take me to America quick? Can yeah. you take me to America quick? Yeah. Uh, right, right. I'll I'll cook and I'll clean. I do fifty fifty. Let's go. Did he not ask her if you're gonna be financially ready? <laughs> he didn't ask her this. He didn't ask that. Do you see? So when a guy's interested in you. Hmm, he's going to ask the right question. Because I think, somebody said she was wearing Van Cleef. I think she's already financially ready. So you need to ask that question. Where did, is there a Van Cleef store in Morocco? Yes, there's a Van Cleef. I'm sure there is. Mm -hmm. That's a wild call. <laughs> I think it makes sense. He's he's more interested in her. And that makes sense for a first or day interaction. Or she's playing hard to get. And, and that's possible because several times she was dragging the conversation when he asked her, like, you know, can you see me as your husband? And she was like, um, 
Um, um, <laughs> um, and then he dropped this sentence, which I thought it was interesting. Should I go on a date with you again? Um, um, I mean, we can't decide from the first date. Should I go out with you again? Yes. Look at him go with that question. Yeah, because it's a play on words. If a person who's not fluent in English, they would be thinking, oh, he's asking me out. Polite, yeah. Or politely, yeah, politely probably. Yeah. But a person who's fluent, they're, <laughs> well, they'll probably say, are you asking me out? Is this how you ask people? I don't know. It's, it, for you, somebody, let's say, say you can do whatever you want. You know what I mean? Yeah, for but, somebody, like I say, for somebody like fluent in English and who's from the Western world and gets the whole dating sphere very well, it's a form of him to reposition himself to yeah. be like on the desirable side because, you know, she was playing hard to get. It's him like now saying that, hold, oh, let me reposition her right now. Mm -hmm. Should I go on a date with you as well? And she should be like, because she's basically saying I have other options. Yeah. Nina got things for me lined Oopsie. up. Oopsie. That's Oopsie. what it is. That's scary. I, for a moment, yeah. I was like, but she didn't get it. Uh, <laughs> She's like, yes. Oh she, my God. she said, yeah, let's go on a date again. And he's like, and next time, don't put on easy. a suit. Yeah. Stop wearing a classic. What she said? Classic. She's so cute. They wear That's a classic suit. Classic. So in episode 10, we could see that Mark and Huda are having their second date. And so far, I'm loving the setting. Oh, my goodness. The dim lights, the candle. The, uh, hopefully, there is music, okay? They're dipping their toes in a body of water. But Mark thought it was the perfect candle time. Candle, too. Don't forget that. Oh, well, I definitely mentioned the candle, Soma. <laughs> but Mark thought it was the perfect time to say this. When you normally kiss someone? Because I want to kiss you. No. Which day? Until we get married. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> now, that's the joke, right? <laughs> that's the culture. Yes, it's not allowed. That's the religion. Whoa. <laughs> like, Mark, have you lost your mind? Like, Nina already told you what are the rules. Like, she already gave you a speech. No hand-holding, no hugging, no kissing, no any intimacy. It's forbidden in Morocco. Morocco, yeah. And so, poor guy thinks right now they're in a closed setting. Ain't nobody watching. <laughs> but there's a camera. Yeah, and it's like, can we kiss? Like, he thinks he's going to kiss this girl in a reality show so her whole family can see. And not more interesting, she find, finally we see she brings up religion. And I know a lot of people in the, in the comments section was like, why don't y'all talk about religion, religion, religion? Because we didn't think it mattered to them. But now you're seeing, she's saying, in my religion, we don't do that until after marriage. And it is very true. I'm wondering when is she going to bring up that he might need to convert to Islam in order to marry her yeah that's another interesting one does too. he know that yeah that he has to do that yeah and i think from what i'm understanding this guy is he really doesn't know why he chose morocco morocco might not be the best fit for him or a moroccan woman from morocco might be his best fit for him yeah somebody of more similar culture to him and maybe similar religious belief because probably they, they're more flexible in that sense mm -hmm. but when you're going to a more of a traditional um uh, very practicing co um country mm -hmm. You, these things are forbidden. And it makes sense. Poor guy still doesn't get it. Date number two, if things are going well at home, um, you normally have more physical contact than nothing. <laughs> so it's very different and very weird. Like, there is no progression from day one to, to day, the day you get married. It's like what? I said, is he delusional? <laughs> you need therapy. I always said that in the beginning, Mark. You need therapy. <laughs> now, Wait. many relationships get clouded because of intimacy. I'm going to say that. Even in the West. Of course. And, and we'll get to that too. He's not even thinking about building an emotional or intellectual relationship with this woman. Mm -mm. He thinks if we don't have any intimacy or any form of it, yeah. then it's just going to be stagnant. It's going to be it's funny. Stale. Right? Or like Fun, that. Stale. <laughs> yeah. Funny, funny. He really said from date two to marriage, we made no progress. Um, does Nina have uh, other persons for you to meet? Yeah, she has one more person for me to meet. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about that? <laughs> I feel wonderful. Yeah. I feel great. <laughs> it's as if he's he's waiting for her to say something crazy or, you know, I'm jealous. Mm -hmm. Mark, let's talk about the comment you made about the whole starting from the second date all the way to marriage. We're making no progress. See, that's the problem, I think, with the whole, you got a dichotomy, right, relationship going on here. You have his Western way of life, you know, serial dating and whatnot, and every girl that he's talking to have some form of a value so that you're not really building an emotional connection, you're just building a roster versus how things is in the Eastern way where you just kind of develop a single relationship and you invest in it and you hope it amounts to something. When if it doesn't, you kind of 
get cut rid of it, it. you cut it off mm-hmm. for what it is and you move on to the next yeah you see what i'm saying like they really- actually take time and invest on that person yeah and vice versa and you could see this guy i think that's why you're still single mark you know what yeah. i mean you have only it seems like you only have emotional not emotional a, a physical, physical relationship right with these women or the women in your past and you never built an emotional or an intellectual and it looks like it hasn't worked for him. Like the thing is, and I think he's like it he didn't. masked he masked it with the whole conversation. I'm looking for a traditional woman. But your ways are not traditional he's at not all. He's not a traditional it's, man. It's not You're traditional asking this girl a kiss on the second date, yeah. right? In her culture, that's it's a, a no no. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing is too, like you're saying that's a weird. No, it's not weird. So now you're with me and you agreed to meet with the others. I mean you can do whatever you want. It's just that if you're meeting someone else after me, you're not going to see me again because that's going to be disrespectful. Another thing, too, is she drops him an ultimatum. Honey. Yeah. Now, mm-hmm. this is where, you know what? I'm on his side and I'm also on her side. True. So let's start with his side. You know, you're on this journey. I don't know how many days you have on <laughs> you're in Morocco for. <laughs> and you have Nina who's going to help you find a spouse for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Utilize that. Why not? Now for Huda, you're a smart girl. You're a boss lady, right? And you need to be in your feminine energy. Now, if this guy is saying that I'm going to see another chick, mm-hmm. uh, another woman. Right. Um, don't say anything right and i and i definitely believe you when you said you know what it's not fair you know it's not like you're not she really connected to me to it, yeah of course. she, she said i feel disrespectful i'm yeah. disrespected right and if you feel like that and you feel like he's not a guy with his words or he seems like he's playing around or whatever or whatnot then move but on does she have a right to feel disrespected i feel like it's a, he's probably I think it's, it's in my norm, constitution to it, do it, that I, I feel like it's a norm for him you know what i mean right. oh i'm going to check out another person and he's uh, i'm assuming She's doing the same thing. Right. But, um, but Huda, if you feel like he's not a man of his word, if you feel like he's that connection that you thought you guys have is something, I would say move on. And you don't have to tell too, him. In the comments section, people are saying that she's looking like a, a control freak right now. So the second day, you shouldn't be dropping ultimatums to him. I think it, she's not a control freak. I think it's even in her culture. You know yeah. what I mean? The men don't move like that probably. Yeah. They don't straight up say, oh, I'm going to see another girl. <laughs> Right? They do discreetly, right? They do probably discreetly, you know. Like and America's so wide open, they have a roster of like, yeah. and vice versa, the girls too over there. Another thing too, if you look at the image between the two of them, he's more laid back right now and kind of pushing away and she's more kind of like, <laughs> and you can see right there, it's because I think he was so hyped up about getting to second base with her, which mm-hmm. is a, a smooch and, or a snog, whatever you call it. And then what happened was she was like, oh, we're doing that after marriage. And he was just like, okay, sure, whatever, yeah. Um, I'm going to see what this other girl has for I got me. a lineup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's very, you know, at, at both sides, I could see it. Yeah. You know what I mean? They both have, I think, validity to their issues. Yeah, nobody should receive an ultimatum, I feel like, especially in the talking stage or yeah. just meeting for the second way time. Way too early, honestly. Yeah, it's way too early. Yeah. And Huda, if you're not, <laughs> if you feel like you're disrespected and all that, move on. Yeah. yeah. At the beginning, when she's playing hard to get, she, at the beginning, I feel like mm-hmm. Mark was reading from her that she's not really into him mm-hmm. the way he was into her. So he probably went back to told Nina, get the second one ready. In the end of the day, if he feels like respectfully, if he feels like he has a connection with Huda, be a man of your word, continue with Huda. Yeah. But there you should not be it. any ultimatum. That's what I'm going to say. Yeah. Please and like and subscribe to this video and bye now.